you might be completely new to this, looking at behaviors rather than looking at people, influencers, blah, 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 blah. So here's the thing. You've got to start somewhere, right? And so the best place to start is actually by digging into the places where you are already active. So the first thing you should look at is, let's say you have a customer service. Incoming email to your customer service is the absolutely best place to discover ones, nines and nineties. And this is how you do it. The ones, they will write emails that are unpassionate, really boring and very long. That's how you find them. But they will know the details about your stuff and they will be writing suggestions about how to improve it. The nines, on the other hand, they will most likely write things such as you really violated their life by something or they are so happy about existing in the same world as you and they will write this in a semi-long email right around like maximum 600 words the 90s on the other hand what they will do in an email an incoming email they will only talk about functionality like this didn't do what you promised it to do Boom. Very short email, to the point, you know, no extras, no emotion, no nothing. And why this is so is because once, you know, they're there to help you, nines are there to just, you know, make you care about them a little bit. And the 90s are just there to get your shit to work because that's what they're interested in. And so that's with incoming email. Another good place to start is Facebook and LinkedIn. Those big social networking platforms. Once you post something, once you start posting something, eventually what you will see is that someone will post something without you asking them to, like Elin in the case of, of our ones. It doesn't have to be that dramatic that someone has tattooed in your brand name on their you know, bottom lip. It can be so that if you arrange a conference uh, and you start posting about that on Facebook or you open an event, someone will reach out to you and say that, hey, I could actually hold a talk at your conference. Usually what we do is we disregard those people uh, because we've made our own plans of who is there to talk. That is actually a one reaching out to you, you know, someone who is willing to give you something for free without you even asking them to, right? So you need to find a strategy to involve those people in your work. Now, nines on the other hand, they will probably say like, this is the best venue in the world or this is the best, you know, thing. They will comment on your posts, you know, react to them. Actually, I believe this or that or that. Very easy to find on social networking platforms. And then 90s, what they will do tops, you know, I usually use this UNICEF example where a 90, when they like a post from UNICEF, they feel like they saved a little bit of the world. And that's the problem, you know, they're not really engaged, but they're like, uh, like, you know, oh, I feel good about myself because they're not ones and nines when it comes to helping people in the world. They're just there to like stuff, right? To feel better about themselves. So social networking platforms really good at, you know, distinguishing and finding these behaviors before you start using them in any, any, any way. Third thing is forums and forums are really good at finding nines. You know, the whole structure of a forum is that you have very few ones, very few people contributing in terms of uh, increased knowledge in, you know, they are 1% of the whole forum population. Nines, on the other hand, they're there to think about it and put themselves into context. Those are the super users usually of the forums. They're there all the time, just da da da, I think this, I think that, you know, I feel this, I feel that, you know, very easy to spot. And so when we were talking about the smallest acceptable truth, putting something on Facebook that you've collaborated about and then advertising that thing on, for example, a forum is a great way to bring in the attention of the nines to your Facebook posts. This is not what Facebook is selling you, right? They're selling you Facebook ad to Facebook posts, but it's actually a better strategy to bring in external traffic to your Facebook posts in order to boost that engagement that then the Facebook algorithm goes yummy, you know, around. So that's a good strategy, just a little detail, but you will find those nines in forums. Now, another place to look at is YouTube. Posting videos, you know, 
YouTube has excellent functionality to still message uh, the people who follow you and and it's a good resource to actually take out, put in a blog and things like that. So that's also a great place to find both the ones and nines and nineties. You will probably find some serious ones about your content when you're active on YouTube because they will have made videos like review, no, not review videos, that's actually a nine behavior, but uh, they will have made, you know, unboxing events and things like that, really creative uh, videos. Uh, talking about the stuff that you're interested in. So YouTube, great place to start look at. Now, if you still don't know a place to start, there are tools, free tools out there such as Social Mansion and there are some you know, more advanced uh, social monitoring tools that you can start looking through. And we will actually get into reviewing a few of them in this course and on Forshore.com. But, um, you know, it's all about finding the starting points that make sense to you. If you have no money to buy expensive tools with, go with the free tools and just get a starting point going. And so that's really when you start looking for these behaviors, those are five places where you can start.